All right, I just wanted to take a quick look at the Wright brothers because I've been thinking they had to have been flat earthers. Um, and like I say, everybody instinctively, deep down, is a flat earther. But they have had to acknowledge, I'm sure they did, that something was off about the uh, globe theory. We're talking about a ball spinning at a thousand miles per hour while also revolving around the sun. So it's spinning and it's revolving, rotating. There's lots of motions going on. And if you're somebody thinking of uh, building something to fly over or on that, then you got to be crazy. <laughs> If you really think, like, if you really, really thought that this thing was spinning and rotating, you would not build a flying machine on it. First of all, uh, you would be cautious about lifting off. Um, but of course, from experience, we know it's still. We know the earth is still and, and flat. I mean, it's just so stupid. <laughs> it's just so stupid when you really think about how we even believed it. Like, I mean, you can go on for days and it makes absolutely no sense. And they knew it didn't make sense. Uh, so I was, you know, researching the Wright Brothers and Flat Earth. And I came across an interesting document. And this was by uh, Charles K. Johnson. He was the International Flat Earth Research Society president um, back in the uh, 70s, 80s, 90s. He was the uh, real deal, the official guy. This is the guy Eric Dubay talks about. Um, so he's a legit flat earther. Um, he was kind of like a one-man show. But I ran across his letter, which I thought was pretty interesting. And this is for uh, introduction to uh, the Flat Earth Society, International Flat Earth Research Society. The aim, he says, to carefully observe, think freely, rediscover forgotten facts, and oppose theoretical dogmatic assumptions to help establish the United States of the world on this flat earth. Replace the science religion with sanity. So he was really about something. Um, back, you know, back then, I don't know when this was written, I have to look down. But, you know, like we say now, we're figuring out that science is a religion. You know, even atheism is a religion. He says the International Flat Earth Society is the oldest continuous society existing on the world today. It began with the creation of the creation. First the water, the face of the deep, without form or limits. Just water, the primordial waters he's talking about. Then the land sitting in and on the water. The water then as now being flat and level as is the very nature of water. There are, of course, mountains and valleys on the land, but since most of the world is water, we say the world is flat. Historical accounts and spoken history tells us that land part, that the land part may have been square, all in one mass at one time, then as now the magnetic north being the center. Vast cataclysmic events and shaking, no doubt, broke the land apart, divided the land to be our present continents or islands as they exist today. One thing we know for sure about this world, the known inhabited world is flat, level, a plain world. We maintain that what is called science today and scientists consist of the same old gang of witch doctors, sorcerers, tellers of tales, the priests entertainers for the common people. And this is the problem. Uh, they pretty much bamboozled us like uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Like, he's a clown. He's a, he's a, he's a priest entertainer. Um, there's a lot of videos done on him, a lot of spoofs even, like, that's what he is. Like he says here, the priest entertainers for the common people. And this is also going on in the medical world. Same thing with this, um, cancer issue. I mean, you got people curing cancer now, but when that white-coated priest comes in, they just have to bow down and listen to him and take the fucking chemo. You know, it's just stupid. Like you said, it's for the, it's the common people. You know, and the more you learn these things, you do realize the common people have a big problem. 
against themselves even not you know we can blame these elite you know these um you know these tellers of tales but goddamn the people man sometimes it's, sometimes you think it's just the people's problem really like they're you know but they're always being taken advantage of you know by these um these uh, sorcerers, these tellers of tales, these priest entertainers. Science consists of a weird way out occult concoction of gibberish theory theology. Unrelated to the real world of facts, technology, and inventions. Tall buildings and fast cars, airplanes, and other real and good things in life. Technology is not in any way related to the web of idiotic scientific theory. All inventors have been anti-science. This is part of the key I wanted to uh, point out too. This is a good point because a lot of you know Globe Earth is talking about science and you don't base science and he he specifically made a point to mention this fact because a lot of people you know what about the inventions you saying all science is bullshit you know he's like no actually all inventors have been anti-science the Wright brothers even said science theory held us up for years when we threw out all science started from experiment and experience then we invented the airplane. And that's the key point. Um, so I was, you know, pretty much confirmed when I when I found this quote. Because, yeah, you would not, they would not build a plane if they really believed in a globe model. And so my assumption was, you know, the Wright brothers, they had to be flat earthers. That's basically what they're kind of saying here. Um, they threw out all the science, you know, and with, with experience. And that's what flat earth is about, um, experience. By the way, airplanes all fly level on this plain earth. And we know that too. <laughs> Everybody, you know, most people have been in a plane, you know, and the whole trip was level and flat. So he goes on here. Our society of synthetics, 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 have existed for at least 6,000 years. The extent of recorded history, extensive writing from 1492 BC. We have been and are the few, the elite, the elect, who use logic, reason, are rational. See, he's a, uh, he's called, he's like, no, we're the real elite. Because uh, it's going to be a minority of people who are even willing to use their own uh, mind and senses on such a big issue. Such a, uh, a huge issue. It's, it's, it's uh, socially you know, socially radical, but, you know, it's true. So he says, you know, the few, the elite, the elect who use logic, reason, and rationale, summed up we are sane and or have common sense as contrasted to the herd who is unthinking and uncaring. See, like I said, this is a sociological issue. It's not just scientific. That's why he goes there. I like this guy. <laughs> You know, we're talking about the herd here, you know, unthinking and uncaring. We have absorbed the Universal Synthetic Society of America and Great Britain, Zion, USA. The work of Alexander Dowie, 1888, Wilbur Glenn, Bolivov, 1942, Samuel Shinton. Lillian J. Shinton of England, 1971. He's just listening to uh, some people here. To seek out, search, prove as contrasted to theoretical which means to guess to hope to suppose but not to prove science proves earth a ball by scripture words he says that in quotes we prove earth flat by experiment demonstrated and demonstrable earth flat is a fact and not a theory our aim is not to disturb the herd or wreck the government but rather to be an aid to the elite human being and coming to know earth flat to then free his or her mind from such blind unreasoning theory superstition and so go on to carefully observe think freely rediscover forgotten facts and impose theoretical dogmatic assumptions as sir fields owner of newspaper in england has said about us they are the last pocket of individual thinkers in the english-speaking world see so this is a um, deep issue and like i said it's not really about saving the people um but I feel it's just for people who really seek truth with uh, any area you're studying. Like, this affects all areas. So that's really what this is about. Not about, you know, saving the world. 
I sometimes call myself the last iconoclast. Science is a false religion, the opium of the masses. I myself count it as the beginning of sanity to confess the creation proves there was a creator, so a god or creator. And of course, we know Flat Earth. Um, yeah. It gets a little more mystical and uh, deific. Definitely some powers behind this world, you know, that's for sure. From a lifetime of study of seeking out approved things, from the study of 6,000 years of recorded history, from observation, from experience, from common sense observation, have concluded that Ten Commandments are in fact good laws of living and behavior for oneself and all in contact with you, truly, laws of physics for living. That is my opinion. The fact that Earth is flat is not my opinion. It is a proof fact. Also demonstrated, Sun and Moon are about 3,000 miles away, are both 32 miles across. The planets are tiny because they're wandering stars. Sun and Moon do move. Earth does not move. World spin or gyrate. Australians do not hang by their feet under the world. This is a fact, not a theory. Also a fact the spinning, rolling, gyrating ball world, planet, globe, idea is entirely 100% now and at all times in the past a religious doctrine. A blind, dogmatic article of faith in the religion for the blind, unreasoning beast of prey. No earthly reason for a sane, upright member of the elite elect humans to subscribe to it. Also a fact, today the elite of earth all live on a flat world. Only the illogical, unreasoning herd prefers the way out occult weird theology of the old Greek superstition, Earth, a spinning ball. Both Copernicus and Newton, the inventors of the modern superstitions, have said, it is not possible for a sane and reasonable person to ever really believe these theories. So they themselves are quoted of saying that. Thus saith Newton and Copernicus, what sayest thou? So, a little lengthy, but not too lengthy. But I like that letter. I uh, just wanted to get that out because he realizes what this is really about. Like, he's calling out, you know, the, the elite, elect humans. Um, and like I said, he calls out the herd because this, you really expose um, the herd mind on flat earth. <laughs> you know, like you said, uh, it's really blind, dogmatic, our court of faith and the religion of the blind and reasoning beast of prey. That's what this is. It's the most blind thing to believe in. It has no basis in reality. So I came across this article too from NASA. It's actually a PDF about uh, the Wright brothers. They're trying to, uh, you know, follow them on the journey to the plane. And there's a questionnaire here. <laughs> it's funny. Um, you know, it's just going along. Uh, I guess it's for um. Maybe for kids, you know, teenagers. But it says, choose one of the, uh, you know, following ideas that were once accepted as correct in science. You know, just assuming. Here they go. So, here it goes. Uh, the Earth is flat. And now you're supposed to explain, you know, how this was uh, disproven and, and by who. So, here's their proofs. Aristosthenes used the sun shining into a well to calculate the Earth's diameter in 230 BC. What the fuck? <laughs> okay alright I guess Columbus did not sail off the edge of the earth a negation so he, somebody didn't do something therefore it's flat nah he, did, he didn't fall off the ball that's what you know we should be surprised about you know how, how, that's silly you know assuming there's outer space and finally Magellan was able to circumnavigate the earth as if <laughs> you can't circumnavigate a disc plane. You can't, you know, travel clockwise or counterclockwise on a disc. So, again, more flat earth material. Um, the Wright brothers were flat earthers. Otherwise, they wouldn't have invented the air plane. Peace. Alright, I just wanted to take a quick look at the Wright brothers because I've been thinking. They had to have been flat earthers. Um, and like I say, everybody instinctively, deep down, is a flat earther. But they have had to acknowledge, I'm sure they did, that 
something was off about the uh, globe theory. We're talking about a ball spinning at a thousand miles per hour while also revolving around the sun. So it's spinning and it's revolving, rotating. There's lots of motions going on. And if you're somebody thinking of uh, building something to fly over or on that, then you got to be crazy. <laughs> if you really think, like if you really, really thought that this thing was spinning and rotating, you would not build a flying machine on it. First of all, uh, you would Flat Earth Research Society. The aim, he says, to carefully observe, think freely, rediscover forgotten facts, and oppose theoretical dogmatic assumptions to help establish the United States of the world on this flat earth. Replace the science religion with sanity. So he was really about something. Um, back, you know, back then, I don't know when this was written. I have to look down. But, you know, like we say now, we're figuring out that science is a religion. You know, even atheism is a religion. He says the International Flat Earth Society is the oldest continuous society existing on the world today. It began with the creation of the creation. First the water, the face of the deep, without form or limits, just water, the primordial waters he's talking about. Then the land sitting in and on the water. The water then as now being flat and level as is the very nature of water. There are, of course, mountains and valleys on the land, but since most of the world is water, we say the world is flat. Be cautious about lifting off. Um, but, of course, from experience, we know it's still. We know the earth is still and, and flat. I mean, this is so stupid. <laughs> it's just so stupid when you really think about how we even believed it. Like, I mean, you can go on for days and it makes absolutely no sense. And they knew it didn't make sense. Uh, so I was, you know, researching the Wright Brothers and Flat Earth. And I came across an interesting document. And this was by uh, Charles K. Johnson. He was the International Flat Earth Research Society president um, back in the uh, 70s, 80s, 90s. He was the uh, real deal. The official guy. This is the guy Eric Dubé talks about. Um, so he's a legit flat earther. Um, he was kind of like a one-man show. But I ran across this letter, which I thought was pretty interesting. And this is for uh, introduction to uh, the Flat Earth Society. International sir, issue. I mean, you got people curing cancer now, but when that white-coated priest comes in, they just have to bow down and listen to him and take the fucking chemo. You know, it's just stupid. Like you said, it's for the, it's the common people. You know, and the more you learn these things, you do realize the common people have a big problem against themselves. Even not, you know, we can blame these elite. You know, these um, you know, these tellers of tales. But goddamn, the people, man. Sometimes, it's, sometimes you think it's just the people's problem, really. Like they're, you know, but. They're always being taken advantage of, you know, by these, um, uh, these, uh, sorcerers, these tellers of tales, these priest entertainers. Science consists of a weird way out occult concoction of gibberish theory theology, unrelated to the real world of facts, technology, and inventions, tall buildings and fast cars, airplanes, and other real and good things in life. Technology is not in any way related to the web of idiotic scientific theory. All inventors, historical accounts and spoken history tells us that land part, that the land part may have been square. All in one mass at one time, then as now the magnetic north being the center. Vast cataclysmic events and shaking no doubt broke the land apart, divided the land to be our present continents or islands as they exist today. One thing we know for sure about this world, the known inhabited world is flat, level, a plain world. We maintain that what is called science today and scientists consist of the same old gang of witch doctors, sorcerers, tellers of tales, the priests, entertainers for the common people. And this is the problem. Uh, they pretty much 
bamboozled us like uh Neil deGrasse Tyson. Like he's a clown. He's a he's a he's a priest entertainer. Um there's a lot of videos done on him, a lot of spoofs even. Like that's what he is. Like he says here. The priest entertainers for the common people. And this is also going on in the medical world. Same thing with this um can 